We're back. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good morning. This almost looks like Afternoon. I wasn't wearing a shirt under here. I, it's yeah. like, I know. I thought for a second there. I got a shirt on. <laughs> you get clothes. <laughs> All right. So wait for just a few minutes for everyone to get here, and I'll go ahead and put my shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup and the tools and everything we're going to be sharing about. And then when you are checking out, upon checkout, it'll ask you who to attach the order to, like uh, to sponsor the order. Make sure you see or type in my name, Rhea Coleman. Oh, Rhea okay. Hope is my name also, but Rhea Coleman is my okay. actual name. That's a, well, I have to type in. <laughs> I had a girl the other day. She goes, I typed in Rhea Hope and you didn't come up. I'm like, well, it's Rhea Coleman. Rhea Coleman. <laughs> so Rhea Coleman, like the campy year, C-O-L-E-M-A-N, when you check out. All right, so we're gonna be doing my mom's makeup today. So the last time we saw her, we did the BB Flawless and we did a very light kind of running errands coverage. And you can watch all of these on the replay on my page, Rhea Hope. So to see any um, replays on tutorials, just head to my page, Rhea Hope, and then click on the video section. You can scroll down and browse. And then the last time we saw her before that, we did the stick foundation. So we did really hydrating, easy to apply coverage. So today I thought it would be fun because I'm constantly talking about this cocktail that my mom has um, <laughs> invented. Oh, um, is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. See, I don't even know when yeah. I come what we're doing. Yeah. So <laughs> we're, we're going to be it? doing the mixture of the BB Flawless and the Liquid Touch together. So, my favorite. Your favorite. So I always <laughs> say this little background story about this little cocktail recipe. So she came over one day after I'd been working with Unique for about a year. So she had quite a good amount of products and her makeup looked so good. And if a little background about my mom is she wasn't very beauty savvy. She didn't really, she was kind of like a, not a tomboy, but like, I don't know. You just didn't really play around with makeup. Yeah. So I had better skin then, so it was okay. Oh, please. You have great <laughs> I got skin. old now. <laughs> so she came over and I was like, oh my gosh, your skin looks so good. What do you have on? She was like, both of the foundations you gave me. And I'm like, both? You have both foundations on? Why would you do that? And she's like, well, the BB Flawless is a little thick and the Liquid Touch is a little thin. thin. So I put them together and I love the coverage. It's hydrating, but it's full coverage. And I was like, you either are crazy or you're a genius. <laughs> Turns out she's both. <laughs> we already knew that. No, but, just yeah. kidding. but so I tried it on myself because I was curious about this mixture and I was so blown away and so impressed with not only the coverage, how long it lasted, how flawless it made my skin, how hydrating, but Matt, it was literally the best of all realms. So She's a genius. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> so, My ignorance came through. Yes, for once, it is. To do something cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be mixing the two together, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So on her skin right now, she has on two products, which is the same makeup routine that I do on myself. So pre-makeup routine. I don't know if I said that. Pre. Pre. So what I do is I, we, washed our face. Mm -hmm. Then we used our, our Touch Behold setting spray. We spray this all over her face. And then we took a pea-sized amount of the mattifying face primer. So mattifying face primer isn't just if you have oily skin. What's really cool about this face primer is it doesn't have silicone in it and it doesn't dry you out. A ton of mattifying face primers on the market dry you out. They're made to mattify your face, meaning they're made to almost like dry your skin out, which is not great so I love this one because it's still that super moisturizing soft coverage of primer but it's gonna blur your fine lines it's gonna blur your pores while at the same time mattifying your face so it's magic <laughs> And a In other words, goes a long way. Yes, so a little does go a very time. long way. So after we apply this on our skin, we usually let it sit for like three to five minutes. And then we go back in with the Touch Bold Setting Spray. So setting spray, primer, setting spray. You're going to go back and forth with these. Thank me later. It's the pre-make routine from heaven. <laughs> And we did that before we started because you don't need to see like paint dry. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm dry now. Yep, exactly. What's Snow the best wet. primer for big pores? So that's the mattifying face primer. It's going to blur imperfections. It's going to sh it's going to blur the appearance of pores. So pores, fine lines, wrinkles, any imperfection. Mattifying face primer, which is also on sale in the March bundle. Okay, so now that we've done that to our skin, now we're going to take the powder concealer brush, which is also on sale in the bundle, and we're going to take the BB Floss in the shade Honey, which is also on the March bundle. Are you guys getting where I'm going with this? <laughs> so you're going to pour a little bit, about that much, on top of your powder concealer brush, and then you are going to want to make sure that the 
Liquid Touch Foundation is shaken, shaken and stirred. So you're going to make sure to squeeze the topper really well and shake up that bottle super well. I've been doing this before while we were letting her primer dry. So now I'm gonna do this without spilling on your pretty dress. So you're going to take that and you're just going to pour a little bit right on top, just like that. Now, the more you shake it, the thicker coverage you'll get. And the more that you mix with the BB Flawless, the kind of thicker the coverage as well. So we're gonna dot this around her skin. And now we're gonna essentially just kind of paint. <laughs> it's, we're gonna go layman's terms. You're just gonna paint it on your face. Paint my face. Paint your face. But this is my favorite brush to apply it because it just goes very smoothly. I'm gonna go over your lips. Very smoothly, very flawlessly, not as streaky as if you're using like a kabuki brush or something. You still can use the kabuki brush to do this, but I really love this brush in its place because it's a little bit more flexible and just, I feel like it applies it a lot smoother than as if you're using a kabuki brush. So you're just going to close your eyes. Uh, yep, just like that, perfect. Well, you have more control over it too with the smaller one. Yes, definitely. Than the kabuki brush. Kabuki, so maybe. yes. Kabuki. Kabuki. <laughs> All right, so now there's kind of a base for her foundation. We could use a little bit more in some areas, but I'm going to go back in and kind of tweak it with the blending bud, which is why we go in after. So there we have on all over. So again, that was with the powder concealer brush. And now I'm going to go in with the BB Floss on my finger. And the Liquid Touch on my finger. And then now I'm gonna use my finger to dot this around because we're gonna go in with the blending bud next. And the blending bud is going to be very important for this step, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles because this is going to be what is going to help the makeup kind of be placed in those fine lines and wrinkles as opposed to kind of just buffing it around. If you feel like you're putting on foundation and it's not looking smooth, it's not looking soft, the blending buds are gonna be what you want. I remember you said that you love the blending buds because they what? They made your makeup look really... Oh, smooth. Smooth. Yeah, kind of porcelain doll finishing. Mm -hmm. And then look more this way so I get this side. Okay, and then so you're just going to dab, dab, dab. So the blending buds are damp. You wring them underneath water, and then you squeeze them till no water falls from them, and then they're ready to use. And you're just going to make sure that you always apply down the neck. No matter if it's even a perfect match, you always wanna make sure to blend down the neck. It's not gonna come off on your clothes, don't worry. Um, but that just makes everything look really seamless and soft and smooth. All right. And then again, the blending buds are perfect for getting all those hard to reach areas that normally your brush can't really get smoothly. All right. All right, so that is the coverage with the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer in the shade Honey. And the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Chiffon is what we used. So we mixed those two together to create that really soft complexion on her skin. And then now I'm going to take the Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Lace. The shade Taffeta would actually match her a little bit better, but I don't have that one on hand. Um, but Lace will be fine. So what's really, really cool about the Liquid Touch... Liquid Touch... It's really cool about the Skin Solution Concealer <laughs> is the caffeine that's infused in it. So it's going to give her under eyes like a super like wide awake, close your eyes, wide awake feeling. And it's going to really just kind of open up her eye area. So for her, she has heavy set under eyes like I do. So I'm going to pull this concealer down and around her eyes to really open up that whole area and then look up all the way like that. So this is going to have that caffeine infuse it. Just like when you drink caffeine, it really just kind of gives your body just like a little, hello, wake up, and gives you that energy. The same thing goes for the concealer. It has the caffeine infused in it, so it's going to do the same thing for your skin. It's going to give your skin kind of that, hello, wake up, kind of feeling. So if you have puffiness or if you have a loss, look up again, loss of elasticity in your under eyes, this is going to be amazing for you. Also has a very wonderful firming effect without being cakey or drying. So if you struggle with your under eyes creasing a ton um, or just not looking super smooth, this concealer is gonna be what you want. How does that feel? Good, feels nice. Mm -hmm. 
So now we have that bright oh, woo, <laughs> color is kind of going in and out because I'm wearing white. But you can kind of see if you want to lean forward just a little bit more how just like flawless her skin already looks. All right, so now we're going to set everything. So because she has more combination skin, I'm going to use the brand new powder, which is called the Prime to Set Powder. And I'm going to use it on a tapered brush. You get a brush like this anywhere. This one is by Morphe. It's a 438 brush. So we're going to tap this in here very lightly. I'm going to tap most of the product off because you really need a teeny tiny in your lookup. And now I'm just going to tap this on her under eye. What's really incredible about this Prime to Set powder that's brand new is it actually has a blurring effect to it, similar to the Mattifying Face Primer. So this is going to be incredible if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles because it's going to set those areas and blur them all at once. So this is also on sale in the March bundle as well as the Skin Solution Concealer. So I'm going to use this wherever she has a lot of kind of deeper lines. So this will prevent the foundation from kind of seeping in and um, accentuating those. So we're just going to kind of dust this all around. And how does this feel? Nice. It's... Can't even tell what's there. Yeah. It feels <laughs> like, it does it feel like cold? Yeah. I didn't know if that was the brush or the product. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cooling effect. So like, is it supposed to feel cool? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. So what <laughs> the cool feeling is that it has a water release technology in it. So as it's hitting your skin, it's releasing these like teeny tiny little water molecules that help your foundation expand. So as opposed to putting a, a setting powder on that dries out your skin, it gives the, that hydration to your foundation. So it's kind of working in an opposite way. So it's a really cool revolutionary new um, technology that they have in the setting powder that is why you have so much room in here because if you didn't it would create mold because it needs uh -huh. air to oxi oxidize Ox oxidize 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 <laughs> oxidize <laughs> oxidize <laughs> you got that one. <laughs> yeah yeah so that. <laughs> that's why you need that room so a couple people were like i'm missing some of my you my product to. i'm like no you it's want you want that they actually came out with this like before that. And we had to take it back because they didn't know that they needed more room. Oh. So people were getting mold on their product. A little background oh. story, kind of gross. Um, <laughs> but the formula was incredible. They just had to change up the packaging. So oh. now they nailed it. It's really, really amazing. But it does. It feels cool. I, yeah, I thought weird? maybe you washed your brush and that's why it felt like no. that. But it's, mm -hmm. it's very, like, cooling yeah. when you put it on. I'm okay, so now we're going to go ahead and set everywhere else. So now I'm going to just kind of dust her skin with the pressed powder in the shade Chine or Chiffon. So this is going to be what is going to give her that really soft porcelain doll finish. The new pressed powder as well has shea butter, vitamin E, and also anti-aging properties in it, as well as a UV protectant. So if you are needing the hydration as well as the coverage the new press powder is what you want and now you can buy it by itself too on my found or on my website rayahopebeauty.com under foundation so now she's fully decked out with all of her coverage she looks like a porcelain doll so so soft <laughs> Sorry, your skin looks, another mirror. <laughs> yeah, your skin looks really, really <laughs> great. It. Okay, so now we're going to contour and highlight a little bit for her just to give her a little bit of structure back to her cheeks so I'm going to take the shade Chenille in the same product, which is a pressed powder, and we're going to take it on the tapered blusher brush. This brush is perfect for getting that really gorgeous kind of warmth to your skin without overpowering your face with bronzer um, because of the way it's shaped. It's not too large. It's not too small. It's dense enough that it really kind of gives you that precise application without being too dense that you can't blend it out. So it's honestly... Goldilocks would be so happy. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, so just around the jawline and then in her other cheek. So again, tap off, and then I'm following the natural shape of her uh, contoured ear. So top of the ear towards the corner of her mouth, but I can kind of see where her cheekbone is right here. So I'm going to take that uh, right here and just kind of wish, wish it back and forth in that area, and then I'll kind of swirl over it. So just kind of work it back and forth till you get to till you begin to get that really gorgeous soft contoured look. All right, let me see that side. It's a little harder to do on this. <laughs> that block in the view. Okay. I don't want to go too heavy for her contour. Uh, cause we don't look like we don't want to look like we're too overdone, but see how it really just gave her skin so much shape and her 
cheekbones are higher up, makes your cheeks look rosier. I don't look so chunky. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> See, you don't need to lose weight. Just made you just lose 10 pounds. Slap that makeup on. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to have you smile. So I'm going to show you guys this little trick that I recently learned. So you're going to look at them and you're going to smile. And now you're going to drop your smile. Now see how my fingers are here to bite me. <laughs> so smile here and then drop your smile. So now my finger was there. So that is where I'm going to start my blush. And I recently learned this trick and I really like it. It gives you an instant little facelift. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm using the shade Sisterly. So instead of going on the apple, working up all the way, we're going to start where the apple is and work up. So it's a little mm. less... Um, coverage with the blush, but it tends to kind of give your face a little bit of a lift. I'll have you look straight at them. So this is the side that we've done so far versus that side. So you can really see where that, um, where that illumination starts. So again, it's going to be more on your cheekbone rather than like on the middle of your face. So just in this area, just like that. Very soft, very light. And you can always use your powder brush. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Goosh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna give her a little bit of illumination. We're gonna use our Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly, and we're gonna just dot this on the highest parts of her cheekbones, and it's just gonna give you that really pretty glowy finish look. All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and let's see, let's see, let's see, eyebrows. Let's do, where's, there it is. Okay, so eyebrows. I always talk about how important doing your eyebrows is, even if you're not like really familiar with doing your eyebrows or if you really don't even want to. This is gonna be really important because it's going to give your face that little bit of a, almost like an eye lift. And it also gives you way more structure to your makeup. Kind of gives you a really nice frame. So you don't necessarily have to fill in your whole eyebrow like I do if you want something a little bit softer, more natural. So obviously, because my mom is how old are you again? 50? 58. Because she's 58, I'm not going to like fill in her eyebrows like I do because that would look a little silly on her. So for her, I'm just going to use a very light hand and I'm just doing the same exact method that I do, following that, the natural shape and direction of her eyebrows. And we start with the framing, so we just go to the arch, go through the tail. I'm going to extend the tail a little bit past her eye, which will give her that like almost a elongating look, which will again give her that little bit of an eye lift. And now the key with your brow pencil is how heavy you're pushing. How heavy am I pushing on your skin? You're not heavy at all. It's just, just barely. Grazing. Yeah. Okay, really so there. Floofing. Yeah, floof. <laughs> Floofing. And then you can always take your spoolie side and come through to even lighten it up even more. So now I'll have you look at them. See how it like just looks framed, but not filled in or not like super, super dark. I have just, eyebrows. You just simply look framed. Okay, now look straight at me because I don't want to give you loppy, lopsided brows. So again, we're just following the natural shape and I'm using the brow pencil and the shade medium on her. So on me, it looks a little bit darker because I push harder, but on her, like I said, I'm just kind of flicking. So this is going to give you a more kind of softer look. So you can still achieve using the brow pencil if your hair is a little bit lighter, um, just by the way that you're pushing. So not pushing as hard. Yeah, just barely, barely grazing. Scooming it over. Shmoosh. <laughs> okay, and then we'll shmoosh to soften that up a little bit. Do we have like our own language or something? Are these from words? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're smooshing. Are in the makeup People are like, what the words? hell are they what saying? Smoosh and agree. <laughs> just start talking pig Latin. <laughs> you guys don't get it? That's from weird. <laughs> it's One weird. of my kids can't understand this. <laughs> oh, how are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so now for eyes, we're going to do a really pretty eye look on her, which I actually did on myself the other day. So we're going to take the Addiction Palette 8, which is a really pretty palette, has really fun colors to it, some oranges, reds, really pretty. So we're going to start with this color right here, which is called Upbeat. It's going to be more of a kind of like a mustard, like a darker mustard. So I'm going to take it on the fluffy crease brush, tapping it in here, swirling with the cap, tap most of that product off, and then I'll have you kind of close your eyes. And then I'm just 
grazing again with the very light hand um, into the halt or into the crease of her eye. So just this little area here, just like that. Now, if you have hooded eyes, wrinkles, fine lines, you name it, you can still utilize and get really gorgeous eye looks. You're just gonna have to play around with how you apply it. So with a fluffy crease brush, this is my favorite way because it's the perfect like taperedness and fluffiness. So you get really nice natural looking um, eyeshadow skills without looking too overdone because it's blending it out as you go. So we're just gonna work this into the crease back and forth. I always like kind of swirl on this outside corner. Same thing. All right, and then once we kind of have the gist of that color, I'll have you look back at them, kind of begins to look a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Profound, which is kind of like a, um, like a brick red and swirl. And then I'm gonna tap, 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 because I really wanna lessen the amount of product that goes on here. And then because it is a darker color, I'm gonna use a little bit lighter of a hand. And we're just gonna dust this on both sides and again light hands is key and I'll have you open your eyes and look at me now I'm going to kind of dust this out in the outside corner and this can ensure that you can still see what's going on underneath when she has her eyes open because she has hooded eyes okay I'll have you look back at them so now you can kind of see what's happening and you just wanna leave a little bit of a space between your eyeshadow and your eyebrows, just a little bit of a space. Okay, so now that we have the base, now we're gonna go in with the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent, and this is my favorite product for your eyes. Close your eyes kind of tight, like, how, nope, like this. Yep, perfect. Oh, I guess I should've looked at you. <laughs> You're telling like, me what to do. Oh, <laughs> Yes, like that. So now we're gonna take the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverent, and I'm just going to bring this along her whole eyelid and then up onto where we applied the eyeshadow or the uh, the um, darker colors into the crease. And then you're just gonna use your crease brush to kind of blend that out and I'll have you look back at them with your eyes closed. So see how it kind of blends in and we're just going to kind of like pull very subtly on that area and then that's it. Now I'll have you open your eyes. Isn't that pretty? All right, and I'll have you do the other side. I was afraid you were covering everything up, but that's no. really cool looking. You just go straight to where you kind of stopped before. So all over your eye, stick to the eye um, lash line. Mm -hmm. So it's like the whole eye. Like the lid. Yeah. The eyeball. Okay, keep your eye closed. And then crease br or cream brush. And you're just gonna tap, tap, tap to just to soften that line. Have you look more at them? Just like that. Okay, I'll have you look at them with your eyes closed. Isn't that pretty? The liquid eyeshadow in the shade Reverend is honestly one of my favorite colors, especially if you have hooded eyes or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles oh, <laughs> because it's going to stay put. It's not going to crease. It's not going to smudge. It's not going to smear. It stays right where you put it, which I love that about this color because a lot of times, especially when you have fine lines and wrinkles, it kind of settles in those creases and then it just kind of looks like lines on your eyes and you're just like, why did I even do this? So, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So this will actually stay put and it really illuminates her eyes and kind of makes them pop. I have eyes. Yeah, you have eyes. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do, we're going to set your makeup. So now we're going to take the Touch Bold Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray this all over. So this is going to be so, so, so important, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles, because this is going to help the makeup to expand, look much more natural on your skin. And just look overall here. You want to do it? Okay. Looks overall softer. And then I always use like a little fan brush. And then we're going to do our lashes. So the reason that we don't do our lashes before we set the makeup is to ensure that we don't make the lashes even more wet after we've already applied our mascara, which will cause transferring most likely. So if you guys need to be color matched, which we're not done yet, so stay, stay keep watching. Us. Keep us. Um, if you need to be color matched, comment in the comments, color match, and I will private message you. Um, if you want mom's cocktail, say color match mom's recipe, <laughs> and I will go ahead and give you my... Um, the regimen that we do for my mom or you could just say what you use for your mom color match and I will private message you that whole regimen and make sure that you're shopping at reahopebeauty.com um, For all your makeup All right, so you feel dry yet? 
-hmm. Mostly? Okay. Mostly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do our lashes. So I'm going to go in first with the lash primer. And I'll have you look kind of like right at the button. Uh, yeah, perfect. So I'm going to go in first with the lash primer. And we talked a lot about the lash primer last time we used it. So this is going to be what you want to use to really elongate your lashes and also give them a ton of hydration. So this is really going to give you, help give you that really good length to your lashes and help them to grow. Have you been using your lash serum? Every night. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> can you tell? Yeah, I can. <laughs> All I right. put it on last night. I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually have eyelashes yeah, here. Yeah, it's working. So now we're going to use a twisted mascara and I'm going to go first in with a little brush. So typically with myself, I go in first with the longer brush, but when you have shorter lashes, it kind of gets hard to get those bigger wands in there to achieve your mascara look. So we're going to go in first with the smaller wand to really give us that length to the lashes. So it's a little bit easier for our bigger wand to kind of grasp them. So we're going to go from the base of the lash all the way up and then you do the same thing on the back side too. All right, I'll look at this side base of the lash and then don't forget the backs that will really really help your lashes look a lot longer yeah I never realized about doing the backs of them mm -hmm. until you started saying that and I'm like yeah. wow big difference <laughs> yeah everyone always forgets the back sides but doing the back you start to get sorry you start to get that um kind of darker lashes but really good length all right, so now that we have that one, now we can go in with the bigger wand because now we have a little bit more length to grasp onto so you don't have to like try to shove this in there mm -hmm. and attach it. Okay. Cool. All right, and then for the bottom lash line, You'll want to use a smaller one. Okay, I'll have you look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This side. Are you surprised to see me? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so now. Here's a little trick too. So we're gonna do her lips. Yeah, now you have lashes. So I did get a little bit of mascara on her top and bottom there. So I'm gonna let it dry because then I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it without messing up your makeup. But we're gonna do her lips first. So I'm gonna take this NYX lip liner. You can get this at anywhere. And I'm gonna line her lips with it. And I'm gonna overdraw her lips just ever so slightly, which overdrawing your lips super super easy all you have to do is kind of tighten your lips a little bit is just go right above where your lip line is so where the lip line color starts to transfer into like your skin color that's where you place your pencil and then you begin to just trace that area <laughs> look in her eyes like don't mess with me <laughs> all right so now we're gonna take the lipstick in the shade easy street you can kind of pout more yeah not that much Royce <laughs> <laughs> where do you think she gets it from <laughs> I'm like Royce let me put your lipstick on <laughs> I'm like, great <laughs> wonderful you're a natural <laughs> kind of like yeah all right, so I'm gonna do the shade Easy Street on her, which is one of my favorite colors, especially for you, Mama Bear, because it's just very soft and subtle. How you kind of, yep, perfect. And then I'm gonna go back with the lip liner, and then we'll just kind of enhance it a little bit. Perfect. Oh, that's such I a pretty like color it. on you. Okay, so bad. now we're gonna fix what we've done. And so you're going to take the brow pencil, take the spoolie side, and then you're just very ever so slightly, just like etch, 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 etch a sketch. Same thing down here. And it just removes that 
mascara without messing up your makeup. Just like that. That's why I don't do it. And then look up <laughs> like that. I'm a nightmare with it. No, but this is so much easier, especially with that little wand. No, no, that's kind of great. Okay. And there we are. There's your makeup. Ta-da! You like it? I do. Cool. So that was the whole makeup tutorial. A little bit more of a glamier look, but now you know what to use when you're trying to get that full glam um, kind of makeup look. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me here on Facebook. All you have to do is shop down here, rayahopebeauty.com. And then if you want the, yes, rayahopebeauty.com. And then if you want uh, a color match, just comment color match in the comments and I'll be so happy to help you. So I love you guys. I will see you soon. And message me here on Facebook if you guys need any help. So we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.